Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Brian Hawkins, celebrant for the Humanist Society Scotland. Mr. Presiding Officer, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure following the terror attack in London that we all share the same emotional response to it. Emotions from anger, perhaps hatred, right the way through to profound sorrow and devastation. And perhaps also we're a little bit confused as to our own personal response to it. We believe that the death of every human being impacts upon us all. And therefore, we find it difficult sometimes to come to terms with the death of, until a few days ago, were strangers. And sometimes we must look to the death of someone close to us to find an appropriate response in these circumstances. I lost first my mother-in-law and then my mother last year. My wife, Wendy, and I had to clear two houses. And it was in the glory hole of my mother's 60-year-old attic that I discovered the old stereo system that I played in my teens. A stereo system from the days when speakers were bits of furniture that had to be wired, when amplifiers got hot, and when turntables were designed with all the precision of a Renaissance astrolabe. I decided, of course, maybe as part of the grieving process, to fix it and to get it to work again. And then I had a dilemma. What <clears throat> records, what music am I going to play? All of my music catalogue is in here. How am I going to choose which music to listen to in an archaic vinyl format? To be honest, I still haven't solved that problem. But I knew the first album I was going to buy because it was in memory of my hero and my contemporary, David Bowie, and his album, Black Star. <coughs> Black Star is undoubtedly a work of genius, but it's also melancholy and it's sad because it's so obvious that Bowie knew that he was dying when he wrote and recorded it. Those of us who live a life without God and who do not believe in the afterline, afterlife pass this way only once. And it's therefore important to us to decide what is important in the life that we will lead. And that leaves us with a choice. And our life is full of choices. We can choose, on the one hand, to be a critic. Or we can choose to grab the opportunity of our own black star moments. Moments of intimacy when we can inspire and we can encourage other human beings. I know to some extent I'm preaching to the converted here. You all entered public life to serve the people of your community and the people of our country. But can I challenge you just a little and ask you, what have you done today to make someone else's life better? In the heat of an election, faced by a calamity like London, it is very, very difficult, it's very, very easy, sorry, to forget our humanity and not to spend that moment with another human being, encourage them to be better, to be themselves, to stand up for thought what they believe in. Please be encouragers. I will leave you with a quote from the great Terry Pratchett, author, humanist, who died in 2015. And he said, there are those of us, it is said, that your life before you die flashes before your eyes. You are absolutely right. It does. It's called life. I was Brian Hawkins of the Humanist Society Scotland. Thank you for your time. Thank you.